So what's in the bottom of it? What's in the um? Oh, it's just a bit of this coconut, uh, one of those plant holder things. You know to keep moisture in. A good shape, eh? So when we take this out and stick it in the aviary, we've got a ready-made nest for them, and they can just sit in there until they're ready to hop out. So. And what's inside the coconut husk? Oh, I just lined it with kiki, dry kiki leaves, and then inside of that, line it with um, um, fern scales from Pungu and whatever. That's what you find in a nest anyway, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, we caught, we got a couple of chicks out to the nest this morning, and uh, we've got a about a five or six hour drive. So between here and the destination, which is the Hamilton Zoo, we're going to have to feed these things. So there's two chicks, and we're just making up a bit of a mix of um, uh, blackberry, boysenberry, <laughs> rubus mainly, and um, rubus. Rubus like uh, one of the blackberry family, pretty close to what they eat in in the wild. I mean, they they, they eat rubus in the wild. They eat rubus. So mash this up, and um, we also put a little bit of called Pro Nutro, which is a breakfast cereal, a fine corn-based breakfast cereal. From South Africa, it is, and um, that gives it a little bit of consistency, and it's supposed to be full of um, vitamins and minerals. Boatrika food, and this helps it give helps give it the right consistency to go through the to go through the syringe as well. And that's quite important because you can choke a bird by. Having it too wet and it goes down the wrong holes. Trying to work out who I fed it next time. Roger, to the right, 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 right,